you've talked a lot about uh, sort of turning the page mentally, you know, a month and a half ago, whenever it was, as you, as you sort of expanded your repertoire and arsenal with your, your pitch selection. But it seemed like there was also something that changed psychologically in that moment. How much has that helped carry you through what we've been seeing over these last six starts? Yeah, yeah. So um, I made a couple of changes. Started throwing the two seam more. Started throwing my curveball more aggressively. Started throwing from the windup. Um, but all of that was done with the idea of like I thought I was just putting my foot down after a really bad start. I knew that wasn't the pitcher that you know that I was deep down. I, I knew I had a lot more to offer than what I was offering. So um, yeah, I was just at that point looking for little baby steps. So I went out and had a pretty decent start against the A's back then, and that kind of just started building things. Um, and then, you know, my last couple of starts, the offense has put up a ridiculous amount of runs for me. So that has just allowed for me to, like, feel really free out there and just compete and challenge guys. And um, so, yeah, I mean, we're still not all, all the way there. But um, I thought tonight I didn't have my best stuff by any means. And I was able to keep the team, you know, with the lead when I left. And, and that's a big deal. Collectively as a group, as you all are navigating this period of time, we're obviously down significant pieces <laughs> and, and trying to dig out of a hole. What sort of the, the collective mentality as you try and piece this together and win like you have these last two nights? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for us to lose that first night, um, it would have been easy for us to roll over after everything you know that's gone on the past few days with who we've lost and stuff. And to come back and win two games and get contributions from everyone up and down the lineup. Um, I mean, like Greg Allen, Ryan Lamar. I mean, these guys coming up, fitting right in, putting together competitive at-bats putting their body on the line in the outfield, stuff like that. Um, it's been fun to watch. It's been fun to be a part of. So, yeah, just who can step up until we until we get our pieces back and then just keep it rolling. You, know, you just talked about maybe not having your best stuff tonight and still going out there, executing pitching as well as you did against a lineup like that. And how significant is that to you, James, and that, that you were able to still have the success you did without your best stuff? Yeah, probably six weeks ago or whatever, that probably could have – ballooned into a not so good outing um, but I was able to with Gary in between innings and stuff just communicate and identify what was working what wasn't working um, we leaned on some pitches that in the past maybe we wouldn't have gone to as frequently you know I didn't have my good curveball tonight and we just made it work we figured out a way to make it work um, so that was a that was a nice step Tom Merriam you have the next question <clears throat> Jamison, did you feel this was a particularly important game given where you are in the standings versus the Red Sox? Yeah, I mean, I think any game against anyone going forward for us is a big game. You know, we need to, we need to put together a good stretch and win games. But, yeah, I mean, Garrett going out there last night, giving us that effort that he gave us, um, you know, Gary and uh, Glaber hitting the homers to put us ahead last night, winning that game, having a chance to go out and win a series, um, that's, a big, that's definitely a big deal against anyone in our division, especially the Red Sox. Lindsay Adler, please unmute. Jameson, you talked about some of these newer guys coming in and mm -hmm. stepping up. Has it changed sort of the vibe with you guys this week, or is it just sort of, um, you know, giving you guys some something new to, yeah. to look forward to? Yeah, it's definitely different not having, you know, a guy like, say, Judge, who, you know, is kind of a team captain. He's vocal. He's always cheering everyone on. He picks the music in the clubhouse a lot of the time, stuff like that. You know, it's kind of weird not seeing certain guys' faces around here, but, um, you know, we have a good environment in there, and, you know, I think it's hopefully for the guys who have come up, they, they feel like they fit in and feel comfortable um, because we need them right now to, to win games and do what we need to do. So, um, you know, you can tell the guys that have come up are definitely excited to be here and want to help out.